The development of electric vehicles is moving at an unprecedented pace, leaving yesterday's cutting-edge technology in the dust. But amidst this rapid progress, many car makers have stumbled and found themselves out of their depth. They released vehicles with high hopes, only to disappoint and fall short of expectations. These EVs have earned their spot on the list of the least desirable options available, and choosing the wrong one could have serious consequences. From limited range to sluggish performance and outdated features, these vehicles can leave you stranded and frustrated. In this video, we'll reveal the EVs you should avoid in 2023 and uncover the reasons behind their downfall. Don't make a costly mistake. Join us as we uncover the truth about these electric vehicles you might regret purchasing. Before we get started, if you want to help our channel grow and keep bringing you even more exciting content, please give a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We'll really appreciate it. Now let's get into it. Number 10. Mazda MX-30 Mazda, known for producing exceptional automobiles, ventured into the world of electric vehicles with the MX-30. However, this initial foray falls short of expectations in several key areas. While the MX-30 boasts a stylish exterior design and certain appealing features, it disappoints in terms of its limited range and affordability. With a range of only 100 miles and a price tag of $34,000, it may not be a practical choice for most customers. In comparison, for an additional $8,000, you could opt for the Tesla Model 3, offering a range of approximately 350 miles and a host of additional amenities. Moreover, the federal government provides a tax credit of up to $7,500 for qualified buyers, making the Model 3 an even more attractive option. Number 9. Chevrolet Bolt EUV If you're considering a Chevy Electric, the Chevrolet Bolt EUV may not be the most suitable choice at the moment, despite its attractive starting price of less than $30,000 compared to other electric vehicles in its class. While it offers a respectable range of 247 miles on a full charge, there are some concerns to be aware of. The Chevrolet Bolt EUV has a history of fires and recalls, which raises questions about its reliability and safety. In fact, General Motors was forced to recall 140,000 Chevy Bolt EUVs due to the potential fire risk associated with the vehicle's batteries. Even as recently as last year, production of the Chevrolet Bolt EV and Bolt EUV had to be halted for a battery recall. If long-term reliability and safety are your priorities, it's advisable to invest in an electric vehicle that has a more trustworthy track record. The Chevrolet Bolt EUV may seem like an appealing concept for those seeking an affordable electric SUV, but it sure comes with notable concerns. Number 8. Fiat 500e The Fiat 500e is often regarded as one of the least desirable electric vehicles on the market today. Despite its adorable and space-saving design, the 500e falls short in several important areas. One of its major drawbacks is its limited range. With an EPA estimated range of only about 84 miles, the 500e lags far behind other electric vehicles in its class, severely limiting its practicality for everyday commuting or longer trips. Another significant flaw is its lack of space. While the small design may appeal to some, it results in cramped seating and limited cargo capacity. In addition, electrical faults, rapid battery degradation, and poor craftsmanship are just some of the complaints customers have lodged against the Fiat 500e. These reliability concerns raise doubts about its long-term durability and the potential maintenance costs involved. Number 7. Mini Cooper SE With a maximum range of just 114 miles, the Mini is essentially confined to a city's borders, much like the Fiat. The underwhelming acceleration is its major drawback. It is tough to rationalize using this as your only car, but if you enjoy the classic design of the modern Mini Cooper, it can be a handy commuting car over shorter distances. However, this is not just the sole drawback. In addition to its disappointing acceleration, its handling also lacks the exciting ride that Mini automobiles are known for. Drivers who anticipate having the same amount of fun with the electric version of the Cooper will be disappointed by the Mini Cooper's lack of energy and enthusiasm. Furthermore, the Mini Cooper SE lacks some essential safety features, such as adaptive cruise control and lane-keeping assist, which have become increasingly standard in modern vehicles. These limitations, combined with its limited range, can detract from the overall driving experience and make the Mini Cooper SE a less desirable option in the competitive electric vehicle market. Number 6. Nissan LEAF The most attractive aspect of the Nissan LEAF is its low starting price. With a starting price of $28,040 and a federal tax credit decreasing the price to around $20,500, at this price, however, you can only purchase the 40 kilowatt hour battery pack because the 62 kilowatt hour battery pack costs a little bit more. Even so, you can only drive for 149 miles on a full charge. Additionally, its performance is underwhelming, making it one of the slowest modern electric cars. The Nissan Leaf is also incompatible with all public charging stations, posing a significant inconvenience for drivers in need of on-the-go charging. 
Despite its affordability, the limitations of the Nissan LEAF may not justify its price tag. It's advisable to explore alternative options in the market that offer better range, performance, and charging compatibility. Number 5. Hyundai Kona Electric In recent times, Korean brands have performed exceptionally, establishing new profit standards year after year. However, the number of automobiles sold is not a measure of quality or reliability. There are several reasons to be cautious when considering the Hyundai Kona Electric. Despite its stylish appearance and competitive range of 258 miles, the fact that it is only available with front-wheel drive may be a drawback for some drivers. Additionally, its limited availability in only 26 states further restricts its accessibility. More importantly, a significant recall was issued in 2021, affecting over 75,000 vehicles worldwide due to self-short-circuiting issues. This raises concerns about the vehicle's dependability and safety. While Hyundai offers an excellent warranty, the potential safety problem with the Kona cannot be ignored. Number 4. Jaguar I-PACE While the Jaguar I-PACE may offer remarkable driving performance thanks to its standard all-wheel drive, potent electric motors, and pleasant ride, there are several reasons you might want to take a step back from parting with your money. The vehicle has a price tag of $71,300 and is only available in one trim level called HSE. This raises some concerns about the vehicle's value for money. A full charge of the iPaces battery only gives it a range of 246 miles, which is hands down below average. This may appear satisfactory to some, but when measured against its rivals, such as the BMW i4, it pales in comparison and ultimately falls short. There have also been reports of fire incidents involving this model, which raises severe questions regarding its level of safety. Ultimately, the Jaguar iPace doesn't offer any unique or compelling features that make it stand out on the market. It's advisable to explore other options that provide better value, range, and a proven track record of safety. Number 3. Ford Mustang Mach-E Despite its impressive range and slick design, potential buyers of the Ford Mustang Mach-E should be aware of the significant technical and reliability issues associated with this vehicle. One of the most concerning issues is a potential safety problem that can render the car immobile caused by battery contactors overheating. This fault has frustrated many owners and poses a serious risk. Additionally, software issues related to the high-voltage battery's main contactors can lead to starting problems or power loss while driving. These technical and reliability concerns should be carefully considered before making a purchase. While the Mustang Mach-E offers a range of 224 to 310 miles depending on the model, the presence of these issues can cause significant inconvenience and potential safety hazards. Number 2. Volkswagen ID.4 the 2023 Volkswagen ID.4 is a practical choice due to its cabin's ability to accommodate a large amount of cargo and its battery pack options, which vary from 62 kilowatt hours to 82 kilowatt hours, providing a driving range of 209 to 275 miles, respectively. However, there are several factors to consider before buying this car. Primary concern is its high price range, starting from $38,995 for the standard model, up to $55,245 for the Pro S Plus. This pricing may not be justified given what the ID.4 offers in comparison to its competitors. Additionally, the infotainment system may not be as user-friendly as other systems on the market. The driving dynamics are often described as mostly boring, which can diminish the overall driving experience. Furthermore, the base model's range falls short compared to the more expensive trims, meaning that you'll need to pay a great deal more for a better driving range. Number 1. The Cadillac Celestique Cadillac's highly anticipated electric car, the Celestique, has generated significant media attention with its recent unveiling. Priced at a staggering $300,000, the Celestique offers a range of luxury amenities and state-of-the-art technology. However, industry experts are questioning the practicality of investing such a large sum in a car that has a driving range of only 300 miles. While the Celestique undoubtedly boasts impressive features and design, the electric vehicle market is evolving rapidly. For the same price, consumers could potentially acquire two to three luxury electric cars like the Mercedes-Benz EQS or the BMW i7, which offer unquestionably superior range and design. In a highly competitive electric vehicle market, it remains uncertain whether the Celestique can justify its steep price tag successfully. And that's a wrap for this video. Now we want to hear from you. Which other electric car do you think people should avoid? We value your opinions and insights, so please share them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more engaging content on electric vehicles and stay up to date with the latest in the automotive world. Your support means a lot to us and we appreciate you being part of our community. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next exciting video. Until then, take care and stay electrified.